Aumsum was walking through a quiet street on a calm afternoon when something strange happened. As he turned a corner, he accidentally walked straight into a brick wall. Instead of stopping, his body passed right through it. He stepped out on the other side and froze in surprise. He looked back at the wall, touched it, and then stepped forward again. Once more, his body slipped through as if the wall were made of air. Miraculously, Om Sum had gained the power to walk through walls. Excitement filled him immediately. He walked into a fence and came out the other side without a scratch. Suddenly, from nearby, a loud alarm rang out. Smoke began rising from a large apartment building. A small electrical fire had started inside, filling hallways with thick smoke. People inside were confused and scared. Some stairways were blocked, and smoke made it hard to see the exits clearly. Emergency teams arrived quickly, but reaching everyone inside would take time. Amsum noticed the danger immediately. Without hesitation, he ran toward the building. While others had to wait for doors to be opened and paths to be cleared, Amsum stepped straight through the outer wall. Inside, the air was smoky and dark, but Amsum stayed calm. He walked through walls from room to room, checking each space quickly. He found people trapped in blocked corridors and guided them toward safer areas by moving through walls and showing clear paths. On an upper floor, Amsum found a family unable to reach the stairs. Amsum stepped through the wall behind them and led them into a neighboring stairwell that was still clear. Everyone cheered loudly for their hero, Om Sum. Mm. Long ago, in a world without cities, smartphones, or even electricity, Om Sum found himself waking up huh? under a giant leaf, nestled beside a fire he didn't remember starting. The trees were taller, the animals louder, huh? and everything looked ancient. Somehow, Om Sum had ended up in the Stone Age. He stood up brushing leaves from his hair, only to be startled by a group of hairy creatures racing past. Other humans, but dressed in animal skins and carrying spears. Curious and cautious, Aum Sum followed them. He soon discovered they were hunters chasing a massive woolly mammoth. But without any training or tools, he knew joining them would be risky. So, he watched from the bushes, taking mental notes. Life in the Stone Age was no walk in the park. Amsum struggled to light a fire using stones and sticks. Finding food meant chasing birds or picking wild berries, often while dodging giant insects and angry boars. But with every failure, Amsum grew wiser. Slowly, he began crafting simple tools and even starting fire on his own. One evening, dark clouds rolled in and a massive storm struck the valley. Thunder roared, rain poured, and the tribe's cave began to flood. Panicked, the Stone Age people ran for higher ground. But a child was missing, trapped inside the collapsing cave. No one dared to go back, but Omsum didn't hesitate. With a torch in hand, he leapt over fallen rocks, dodged dripping stalactites, and found the child huddled in a corner. Using his newly carved wooden spear as support, Amsum guided the child through the rising water. When a section of the cave caved in, he used his sharp stone axe to break a path through the debris. Emerging from the cave, soaked but triumphant, Amsum handed the child to the astonished tribe. Amsum had become a hero. Hmm. One sunny morning, as Omsum stood in front of the mirror, he noticed his hair looking a little longer than usual. He didn't think much of it at first, but by lunchtime, his hair had already started to cover his ears. By evening, it had reached his shoulders. Omsum's hair just wouldn't stop growing. It kept getting longer and longer, no matter what he did. At first, Omsum thought it was funny. He imagined himself as a rock star with long, flowing hair. But soon, 
his hair started to get in the way. It fell over his eyes, it covered his mouth, making it tricky to eat, and it tickled his nose so much that he kept sneezing. Om Sum tried tying it up, but the hair kept growing so fast that the rubber bands snapped. He even tried wearing hats, but his hair would spill out from under them like a waterfall. By the next day, Aung Sum's hair was so long that it dragged behind him as he walked. At school, his friends couldn't see his face anymore. His teacher couldn't tell if he was paying attention. At lunchtime, his hair dipped into his food, making a big mess. No matter where he went, his hair followed like a long, silky tail. Aung Sum soon realized that having hair that never stopped growing was not as fun as it sounded. His hair would get caught in doors and even trip him up when he ran. He started to worry that his hair might take over his entire house. As the days passed, Aum Sum's hair kept growing and growing, wrapping around trees and fences outside his house. 